The next thing to talk about is humoral innate immunity, which is the classical complement pathway. So whenever you talk about humoral, think B cells and antibodies, because that is the humoral immune system. Cell mediated immunity is with T cells. Humoral is with B cells and antibodies. And a fun fact is that in Latin, humor means moisture. So the complement is made up of 20 soluble proteins that are mainly secreted originally in an inactive form. These then recognize something called a pathogen associated molecular pattern and can cause lysis, opsonization, inflammation or cytokine release and they can clear immune complexes. So what do these things lies? They can lies gram negative bacteria, fungi and parasites, viruses with an envelope and erythrocytes and nucleated cells. It allows opsonization of pathogens with antibodies or complement fragments to facilitate and enhance phagocytosis. There's also the neutralization of the pathogens in conjunction with antibodies. So if you get loads of antibodies binding to the pathogen, it sort of like aggregates and makes it easier for phagocytosis. And then the last thing is inflammation. So this is a physical response to infection, injury or trauma. So there are, it, can, it happens within hours and there are four main signs. So your first one being cholera, which is heat. This is caused by an increase in blood volume. There's rubber, which is redness, which is caused by a decrease in blood velocity. There's tumour, which is swelling or edema. That's caused by an increase in vascular permeability. There's dolor, which is pain, and that's caused by an increase in chemicals acting on pain receptors. And it can be local. It can be local, like in one area, or systemic across the whole body. It can also be acute for a short period of time, or chronic, which is for a long period of time. Uh, it tends to be chronic if we have pathogens that are more resistant to the immune system, so the inflammation is prolonged. Um, in cases of autoimmunity, when it's our own cells that are being attacked, this it tends to develop into a chronic condition and then cancer as well which is tissue damage and wastage um, the chronic inflammation can also lead to further complications so it can cause an increased amount and an increased activation of macrophages because the inflammation is going on for a prolonged period of time and also fibrosis which is tissue scarring due to an accumulation of fibroblast and a granuloma what else can it do? So inflammation causes a recruitment of effectors, which is why those macrophages sort of build up in amount during chronic inflammation. It causes clotting at the location of where this pathogen has been detected or the damage has occurred in order to prevent the spread and trap pathogens in that localised area. So the four main systems that are activated by this are the kinin system, which is an enzymatic cascade causing an increase in vascular permeability, vasodilation, pain, and it also causes smooth muscle contractions. There's also a clotting system, which increases vascular permeability. So neutrophil, no, there's an increase of neutrophils in chemo and chemotaxis, which is the attraction of cells to the area of damage. There's also the fibrolinic system, which is complement activation. And then there's the complement, which is anaphylax toxins, which bind to the receptors on mast cells, causing the release of histamine and other mediators.